Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 3, understanding quadrilaterals, exercise 3.2. See now question number 1, find x in the following figures. Given figure is a triangle, here they are given exterior angle that is x, 125 degrees and 125 degrees. Now we have to find the x value. Here let us take for this 125 linear pair other angle B M and for this 125 degrees other angle B N and this forms a linear pair. So 125 degrees plus M it is a linear pair. We know linear pair is equal to 180 degrees. So 125 plus M that equals to 180 degrees since both are linear pair. Now we shall find M value M equals to 180 degrees plus 125 on transposing it is minus 125. So 180 minus 125 it is 55 degrees. So M value we got here 55 degrees. Now we shall find N value. Here 125 and N both are linear pair. So 125 plus N that equals to 180 degrees. Now let us find N value. So N equals to 180 degrees minus Plus 125 and transposing it is minus value. So minus 125 degrees. That equals to 180 minus 125 that is 55 degrees. By exterior angle property that is exterior angle of a triangle. Exterior angle of a triangle will be equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. By this exterior angle property we have written x equal to m plus n. That implies x equal to m value we got 55 degrees and n value is 55 degrees. Therefore x equal to 55 plus 55 that is 110 degrees. Therefore x value is 110 degrees. See now first question B sum. This is the given figure. They are given only exterior angle. See here 60 degrees, here 70 degrees, here x. Here one of the angle is right angle. Here is also right angle. This both are linear pair since it is a right angle inside the other angle is also 90 degrees. Why? Because linear pair we know 180 degrees. One of the angle is 90. So 180 minus 90 it is 90 degrees. Here they have already given it is a right angle. So two interior angles are 90 degrees and 90 degrees. Here they have given all exterior angles 70 and 60. So these exterior angles will form a linear pair. So we have taken two angles that is M and N. 70 degrees plus M form a linear pair. So 70 degrees plus M that equals to 180 since it is a linear pair. Now M value equals to 180 plus 70 on transposing it is minus 70 degrees. So 180 minus 70 it is 110 degrees. So we got here M value as 110 degrees. Now let us take another linear pair 60 degrees and N. So 60 degrees plus n equals to 180 degrees since it is a linear pair. Now n value equals to 180 degrees plus 60 on transposing it is minus 60 degrees. That equals to 180 minus 60 that is 120. Therefore n value is here 120 degrees. The given figure is having 5 sides. Thus it is a pentagon. Sum of the angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. Here we know m and n. And other two angles are 90 degrees each. We have to find the x value. But instead we have taken for x linear pair other angle is y. So we have to take all these five angles. So sum of the angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. So these two interior angles 90 degrees plus 90 degrees. M value 110 degrees. N value 120 degrees. And y that equals to 540. On adding all these four angles we get 410 degrees. Plus y that equals to 540. That implies y equals to 540. Plus 410 on transposing it is minus 410. So y value equals to 540 minus 410. It is 130 degrees. Therefore we got here y value 130 degrees. Since here x and y both forms linear pair. x plus y equals 180 degrees since it is a linear pair. That implies x plus y value we substitute 130 degrees. So x plus 130 that is 180 degrees. That implies x equal to 180 
plus 130 on transposing it is minus 130. So 180 minus 130 degrees that is 50 degrees. Therefore we got x value as 50 degrees. See now question number 2. Find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon of 9 sides and 15 sides. Let us see the solution. Sum of angles of a regular polygon having side n. That is n minus 2 into 180 degrees. Here our first question is 9 sides they have given. We need to find the exterior angle of a regular polygon. Sum of angles of a regular polygon having 9 sides will be n minus 2 into 180. That is 9 minus 2 into 180 degrees. 9 minus 2 7 into 180 degrees. 7 into 180 degrees that is 1260 degrees. Now we are going to find interior angle. So each interior angle will be 1260 by number of sides that is 9 sides. So by 9. So 1260 divided by 9 we get each angle that is 140 degrees. Now we shall find the exterior angle. So each exterior angle will be 180 degrees minus interior angle that is 140 degrees. So 180 minus 140 that is 40 degrees. We can also find exterior angle in another way also. Let us see that now. We can find each exterior angle by another method that is each exterior angle is equal to sum of exterior angles divided by number of angles. We know sum of exterior angles will be 360 degrees divided by number of angles. In our question they have given 9 sides so divided by 9. 9 table 40 times 360. Therefore each exterior angle is 40 degrees. See now second question second sum they have given 15 sides. Sum of angles of a regular polygon having side n formula we know that n minus 2 into 180. So second sum, sum of angles of a regular polygon having 15 sides will be 15 minus 2 into 180. 15 minus 2 that is 13 into 180. When we multiply these both we get 2340 degrees. Now we shall find each interior angle that is 2340 divided by number of sides that is 15. So by dividing 2340 by 15 we get 156 degrees. Therefore each interior angle is 156 degrees. Now we shall find exterior angle. So each exterior angle will be 180 degrees minus 156 degrees that is 24 degrees. We can also find exterior angle by another method. Let us see that now. Now we shall find exterior angle in second method. Each exterior angle is equal to sum of exterior angles by number of angles. That equals to, we know sum of all exterior angles will be 360 degrees divided by number of angles is here 15 sides that is 15 angles. So 360 divided by 15 that is 15 table 24 times 360. Therefore each exterior angle is 24 degrees. See now question number 3. How many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of an exterior angle is 24 degrees? Let us see the solution. In the previous sum we have seen to find each exterior angle we had formula sum of exterior angles divided by number of angles. Here in this question they have given exterior angle is 24 degrees and we know sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees. Now we have to find number of angles that is nothing but number of sides. Therefore, number of sides is equal to 360 degrees divided by 24 degrees. Here, this number of sides and 24 degrees both were cross multiply. So, these values were reversed here. Therefore, number of sides is equal to 360 degrees divided by 24 degrees. 24 table 15 times 360 degrees. Thus, the regular polygon has 15 sides. See now question number 4. How many sides does a regular polygon have if each of its interior angles is 165 degrees? Let us see the solution. Interior angle they are given as 165 degrees. So each exterior angle will be 180 degrees minus this interior angle 165 degrees. That is 15 degrees. 
Therefore, we got here each exterior angle is 15 degrees. In our question, they ask us to find number of sides in the regular polygon. By previous sum, we have written formula. Each exterior angle is equal to sum of exterior angles divided by number of sides. Now, in this question, we have to find number of sides. So, the formula is number of sides equals to sum of exterior angles divided by each exterior angle. We know sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees divided by each exterior angle is 15 degrees. So, 15 table 24 times 360 degrees. Thus, the regular polygon has 24 sides. See now question number 5. A sum. Is it possible to have a regular polygon with measure of each exterior angles as 22 degrees? Let us see the solution. Here in this question, they have given exterior angle as 22 degrees. Now we have to find number of sides that equals to sum of exterior angles divided by each exterior angle. That equals to we know sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees divided by each exterior angle is 22 degrees. When we divide 360 by 22, 22 table 22 ones are 22. So 36 minus 22 we get 14. Get down this 0. 22 6 are 132. On subtracting we get 8. We place a decimal and add a 0. Now the number is 80. 22 table 3 times 66. On subtracting we get 14. So decimal is there. Add 0. 22 6 are 132. So we will get a reminder 8. So this is a recurring decimal. So 3 6 again we will get again 3 6 3 6 so on. So this is a recurring number. So we have 16.36 bar here. So 360 divided by 22 we get answer 16.36. No, we can't have a regular polygon with each exterior angle as 22 degrees as it is a not divisor of 360. See now fifth one B question. Can it be an interior angle of a regular polygon? Why? Previous question they have given exterior angle as 22 degrees. In this question they ask us to take same 22 degrees as interior angle. Now we shall find exterior angle that is 180 degrees minus 22 degrees that is 158 degrees. No, we can't have a regular polygon with each exterior angle as 158 degrees as it is not divisor of 360 degrees. Therefore, we can say 22 degrees can't be an interior angle of a regular polygon. See now sixth question A sum. What is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon? Why? Let us see the solution. Equilateral triangle is a regular polygon with three sides has the least possible minimum interior angle. Because the regular polygon with Minimum sides can be constructed with three sides at least. The minimum sides required to construct a regular polygon is three sides. Since the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, each interior angle will be 180 divided by 3. Since it is having three sides, sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees divided by number of sides that is 3. So, 3 table 60 times 180. Therefore, each interior angle is 60 degrees. See now, 6th question B sum. What is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon? Let us see the solution. Equilateral triangle is a regular polygon with 3 sides has the maximum exterior angle. Because the regular polygon with least number of sides, that is less number of sides, if a regular polygon is having, then it will be having maximum exterior angle. Therefore, maximum exterior angle possible that is equal to 180 degrees minus, previous we got interior angle as 60 degrees. So, 180 degrees minus 60 degrees that is 120 degrees. Therefore, maximum exterior angle possible is 120 degrees. Today we have seen class 8, chapter 3, exercise 3.2, all sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. 
Thank you for watching.